This is 7 News Nightcast. A woman is fighting for her life after she was sexually assaulted and badly beaten July 5th in a Lake Charles public housing complex. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Arsenault. Residents are upset it happened and upset the crime wasn't made public until nearly 10 days after it happened. Tonight, Jade Mulrow spoke to the victim's family who says the person who did this left her for dead. You have someone's mother, someone's grandmother, barely hanging on to life. Sherry Vincent is in a Lafayette hospital surrounded by her family after an unspeakable crime leaves her severely injured. In an interview with 7 News, Scott Daly, Vincent's son-in-law, explains what she endured the night of July 5th. She was sitting there watching TV uh, with her back to the, the back door and uh, she heard somebody beating on the door. It happened in this neighborhood off of Lake Street. Vincent's family says she's lived here for about 12 years without any problems until now. The man kicked through her back door, but didn't steal a thing. She was pleading for her life, pleading for her life. And uh, his words exactly, no, I can't let, I can't leave because you will tell people who I am. Residents, the community, and even Daly and his family questioned why 7 News hadn't reported on the attack sooner. After we were alerted of the attack last week, we reached out to the Lake Charles Police Department for more information, and that same day a press release was issued. Monday, we were told they do not make it immediately public when there is a crime sexual in nature to protect the privacy and dignity of the victim. Police also say the suspect didn't appear to be a serial rapist. If this would have happened in my neighborhood, I would have wanted to know about it ASAP. Community awareness, better security measures. Sherry's family is asking what could have prevented this attack and how will it be prevented from happening again? God knows I don't want this to happen to anybody else. So whatever can be done, it needs to be done. Jade Morrow, 7 News. Police say the suspect is described as a skinny black male.